Alright, um, let's start with the first one of the day. Um, the first trading idea, uh, we actually have our recent buy, which is actually EcoWorld. EcoWorld has been our technical buy on 2nd January, uh, one of the first day of the report. And the stock is actually gaining about 31% to pick at one ring, uh, to pick at one thirty-five cent, slightly above our second target at one ring twenty-eight cent. So the pick at, um, on the 16th February has seen the stock, uh, create some sort of pullback but again the pullback was pretty much kept within this uh, so-called quite thick uh, Ishimoku cloud over here that give you strong indication that the long-term trend remain on the outside so expanding um, what we call that size of the Kumo or the cloud it suggests momentum remains strong uh, right now you can tell the RSI is still uh, trading creating a new lower high structure but it appear to be kind of uh, like a rebound right with a 45 point mark which is also considered with the recent uh, support as well so we, we believe the decline going to be kept and buying into start to pick it up as you can see the size of the volume profile has improving over here as you see a large number of the re-accumulation uh, uh, as well so um a breakout above i would say at 130 cent or 131 cent could actually kick start a new up cycle um and for now we actually reiterate our technical buy with a new and higher target at 142 cent and 156 cent while the cut loss also helped me revise higher at 120 cent so giving you a quite decent risk to ratio of uh, 1 to 2.6 that means 7.7 percent downside risk with potential 20 percent up Side. momentum scoring quite decent um is actually sorry quant scoring is quite decent we are actually using what we call that uh, same momentum style uh quant style with the scoring uh, also high at 8.4 all right moving into a second trading idea we have um glove stock so we notice some of the interest coming back into glove stock so we start with Hatalega. Hatalega correction since the peak on 4 January has been, uh, I think it has a decent chance has been completed. We've seen uh, multiple uh, three-legged correction over here and the uh, rebound has been uh, within at critical uh, resistance during the support. So correction has ended within the major 200 day move average as well as 61 point Fibonacci level. Yesterday again, uh, gap up and gain followed by high trading volume. It may pretty much get start any up cycle. You've seen a breakout move on either side as well. Uh, MACD about to flash a bullish reading. So a breakout above this downtrend channel may get start a new up cycle for the stock. We think at the kind of level, the risk to reward ratio is quite attractive. So we are recommending to buy with the cut loss set at 2 ringgit 37 cent the net resistance will be at 2 ringgit 77 and 2 ringgit at 99 cent risk to ratio quite balanced uh, with 1 to 2.4 which means 7% downside risk and 17% upside potential and um, last but not least will be Kosan Kosan is our buy on for January the stock is actually gained about close to 12% um, hit our first target actually the subsequent correction similarly with the Hatalega has ended but in this case Kosan rebounded off 100 day moving average and 61.8 uh, Fibonacci adjustment level so current level is actually a attractive for recognition as we recommend to go in due to um, attractive risk to reward ratio uh, risk right now about 7.5 percent with the card loss at 1 get 71 cent uh, while the upper resistance is actually 1 get at 99 cent and 2 get 70 cent with the risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2.1 outside position at 16 percent for both cost and harta lega uh, there are quantity we are using momentum with harta lega at 9.25 and uh, meanwhile, Kosan at 9.7.